Hey YouTube, it is uh, Tuesday, January 15th. I am back. <laughs> I have been on a long outfit of the day break. Uh, I guess for maybe, what, two, three weeks? Uh, yeah, so I wasn't at work, and when I'm not at work, I'm not wearing anything remotely, remotely interesting. Uh, so, my daughter had to have um, surgery. She had, uh, she had to fix her, basically they had to fix her, fix her soft palate so that she would be able to speak more clearly. Thank, thank, thankfully the surgery went very successfully. The recovery was a bit longer and harder than we thought. We were in the hospital for a few days, but she is getting back to herself now, thankfully. And I just, if anyone has children and uh, little ones and have had had to have had them go through surgery it is not fun especially when your child is crying and asking you what can they do to you know not freak out about the pain and she's a five-year-old and she handled it better than you know 25 year olds she was a trooper uh, and she didn't really cry much. She cried before she went into surgery. First time she went to surgery, she was all, uh, cause she had to have a pre-surgery. So uh, that was her first time that she remembers. Because once again, when she was born, she had surgery. Of course, she's not gonna remember that. Anyway, first time she was quite upset that she couldn't stay awake for the surgery and was, a f was un upset that she had fallen asleep because they gave her the little giggle juice and whatever. Um, and she wanted to be awake when they rolled her in the bed. She was upset that she couldn't stay overnight. <laughs> like, Stella, this is little. This time, however, she cried a little bit before going into the surgery because she now she knew now what surgery was. It's not fun. It hurts uh, afterwards. And so she was a little, you know, her spirits were a little down. But afterwards, she was a trooper. And I'm thanking God for her and for her attitude and it just it, you know it was hard but because she didn't cry and cry and she took all her medicine when she had to take her medicine and she didn't give the nurses a hard time she didn't give me a hard time or my uh or her father and so i'm thankful for all of your kind words of support for her i read them to her showed them to her and she loved it so she'll be back to school this week thankfully anyway that was my new year um, oh, it was something. So that's that. Christmas was fabulous. Um, the kids had a blast. They had a thousand toys to open. I had a thousand hours of assemblage of such said toys. Um, but everything was well. Her birthday is, Stella's birthday is on Thursday. She's all about LOL. We gave her a little party. Uh, you probably saw the, my post on Instagram. So that has been my life. <laughs> um the past two three weeks how has everyone been i hope everyone has been fabulous uh for the new year happy new year happy new year new things all good things all good things yeah yesterday let's get into the outfit of the day i didn't really wear anything interesting it was my first day back it was cold i was like slightly hungover <laughs> so i just wore uh this merino gray top from j crew hound's tooth pants from j crew I've been wearing my Ugg boots in, which means I just throw on these Topshop shoes that are under my desk. Basically, all of my boots need their heels fixed, and I'm just either too lazy or too cheap. I'd rather buy new shoes, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. It was my old self. I will get those boots fixed, hopefully, this season. Uh, so that was yesterday. Today, I woke up and I saw Miss Savannah Guthrie uh, from Channel 4 News wearing her bright pink blazer and all black so I figured <laughs> I'm gonna do that too because mama needs some brightness so a bright pink blazer I'm not gonna mention who it's from I just had this conversation with my boss and she's like I'm going to rip that off you and burn it <laughs> but I can find a blue based bright pink blazer and I've had this for a few years now before this person's father was in the office I know I know I have ripped a tag out anyway <laughs> I love this color and I really can't find it anywhere else. The color, the cut, it's fabulous. So she's like, have you no principles? <laughs> I'm like, I do, but I don't in some cases. Anyway, black um, shirt from H&M, uh, J. Crew pants, Hermes belt. And um, I just have my uh, Louis Vuitton this week. Cause I, 
I'm dying to wear my Devo bag, but it's so freaking cold and I'm wearing the big coat and it's just horrible to get a strap over that hood. So this is actually annoying too because it's a handheld bag and I need to put my hands in my pockets. So, but anyway, I had a hankering for wearing her. So for a while, so I pulled her out of the closet and it just got with everything. I should have got the bigger size, but the 25 is cute. But I would like, I should have gotten the 30. 35, 30. I'm so out of touch with bags lately. Um, which is good, because I don't really, I haven't had a hankering for a new bag or clothes, just jewelry. So hopefully that lasts until I'm 45 so that I can get my Chanel. Uh, lipstick is a, a mixture of two. It's kind of old now. It's about 2 o'clock. And I had this on since this morning. This is MAC Heroin mixed with MAC Men Love Mystery. My Naked Heat palette on the eyeballs. I love that palette. I really need to get it off my desk, my makeup table, though. Well, um, use something else. It's just very easy. It's all the colors I like. Earrings. I have not taken these earrings out since before the holidays. It's still my, um, what do you call it? My, you can't even see under that. Uh, initial earrings, need to take them out and change them. My citrine ring, which I love. It is slightly too loose, but it doesn't fall off or anything, but I love it. Uh, from the last line, LA. Um, what is this? My, my CZ bracelet from Pandora, which I have not uh, debuted yet, so I won't show it too much. And my... Um, just other, this is like the stack I have been wearing. I love how this bracelet came out. And my, uh, what do you call this bracelet? My essence bracelet from Pandora. This thing has stretched. It has stretched. It's stretched. It was up here, and now it's down there. But it's still pretty. Um, and then Apple Watch. And that's it. Oh, Citrine Necklace from Etsy. My boss gave me. And I believe this popcorn chain is from Macy's. So that is about it, guys. I am back and in full swing with the outfit of the days. Uh, and thank you all for those of you who said you missed them. It's really flattering. I'm really happy to hear that. And uh, the channel is growing, so welcome to all you new peoples. I am Amy, and I uh, can talk. And I love fashion, anything fashion-related, jewelry, anything, makeup, whatever. This is a... Um, all encompassing channel so welcome aboard anyhow guys anywho guys let me get back i am going to eat my lunch and incidentally th i love this necklace but it keeps flipping it's like it flips i guess because it's so heavy the, the stone is heavy and there's not enough gold on the under part i don't know why it flips i got a necklace extender to make it longer because i thought if it's longer it wouldn't flip because it came up to here the original necklace but it still flips. So if anyone has any kind of um, tips to let me know what I can do to make it not flip. Of course now it's not flipping. Okay, of course now it's not flipping. Did it flip? It flips. But if, if any of you guys have any um, tips on how to make a pendant not flip, I would appreciate it. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey YouTube, it is Wednesday, January the 16th. I'm about to run out to my, um, I have to run to Marin's and gotta go to my other office. Um, but it's freezing out, so <sighs> it's January. At least we don't have like tons of snow, although I really think <laughs> we're gonna get it. We are so overdue for a snowstorm. Anyway, quick outfit of the day. I am wearing um, a sweater I bought from, I bought last year. I'm going to have to put put it in the, around here or down below because I can't remember who it's by. I think I bought it from either Saks or Bloomingdale's. Uh, it's got the patches all over it. Um, and this wool gray skirt that I didn't even know I had <laughs> from J. Crew. Wondering now, I like the length of this. I'm wondering now if I have a black one. I've got to look in my closet. Uh, the boots are from Sol Sana. They are, I have two versions of these black boots. One is all leather, and these are the ones with the calf hair up the top of the shoe. And um, not much in the way of jewelry. I am trying out my 
Pandora Galaxy Universe bracelet. I still need a few pieces to complete it, but I kind of wanted to wear it. And my Pandora Essence bracelet and my Citrine ring, of course, from The Last Line LA. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna brave the cold. Still wearing, still haven't changed out my initial earrings. Still wearing my heat palette and I think I just threw on touch. It's always in my mind. This coat is uh, macage. I've yet to see anyone wear it. So, very glad I, I was gonna go with to the, for the, um, what do you call the big, the other one? Canadian, can, Canada Goose, I keep saying Canadian Goose. Canada Goose Coat, but then I saw this brand and this style and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best purchase if I have ever bought, by the way. If you guys work in the city, have to commute any kind of way in New York City in the freezing winter, this coat or these kind of coats are fabulous. They keep you nice and toasty. You don't have to wear a neck, um, scarf or I don't have to dress in layers. It's just perfect. And still got the, uh, Louis Vuitton. Uh, my, my Louis Vuitton speaking. So yeah, that's about it today, guys. Um, I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Thursday, January 17th. It's my little one's birthday. She is six years old. <laughs> Can't believe it. So she was very annoyed that I had to go to work this morning. She's like, Mommy, you're going to miss my birthday party. And I'm like... I guess I am, because I know I didn't throw you a birthday. <laughs> There's no birthday party I'm throwing you. I already threw you a birthday party. <laughs> like, she's getting multiple parties. I'm like, what birthday party are you talking about? <laughs> Let me know. Anyway, I'm about to get out of here so that we can go home and open up some more LOL surprise dolls. Those things are kind of fun. She's got quite the collection growing. Everything is about LOL. One of uh, my, um, her aunt, Neil's sister, bought her... You know, they had it. They brought their. They came on a separate day, and they gave her um, her own party, which I guess this is why she thinks she has multiple parties. Anyway, and they gave her a gift, and she unwrapped it, thinking it was a LOL doll or a surprise doll, whatever it was. And it wasn't. It was like some kind of some other doll. And her face was so alive. I mean, she was very gracious. I have to say, she was very gracious. Only I and her dad knew that she was a little disappointed that it wasn't LOL. But she said thank you, and she was very gracious. She was like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll buy you one for that. It was just so funny. Anyway, that's that. I am now in the process of planning our Disney vacation for the son because he wants to go to Disney Junior. He's been asking this for a while, so I figure for his fifth birthday we'll take him to Disney. Because for Stella's fifth birthday, I gave her the whole big girl room. She got her big girl bed. And since they sleep together and do not seem to be showing any signs of otherwise, I'm not getting him a big boy bed. I'm not wasting that money and he's just going to end up sleeping in her bed. So we'll take them to Disney. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. I had asked on Instagram for suggest suggestions. And you guys have given me some. Again, if whoever sees this, you have suggestions on what to do, where to stay at Disney, please leave them below. So far, I am looking at the, the Disney Animal Kingdom Lodge. They seem to be really cool, you know, with all the animals and stuff. And I'm only doing two parks. Magic Kingdom and... Hollywood Studios, because Hollywood Studios has Toy Story, which he is crazy about, and there will also have the Cars thing once we get one, by the time we get there. And then just take Stella, take them to Magic Kingdom and see Mickey or whatever princess is floating around. Um, and so, yeah. So, six days, two parks, four days to see those two parks, and I think that's good. I mean, they're five, there'll be four and six-year-olds in the heat. Yeah, we're not gonna get to a lot anyway, so I don't want to do a bunch of parks and trying to cram everything in I want to be nice and leisurely take two days to do one park take two days to do another park and be You know Some form of sanity when I get home So yeah, if you have any suggestions or how to navigate the world that is Disney Please leave them below. I would appreciate it uh, so let's get to the outfit so and I can get out of here and go open up LOL dolls <sighs> Today I am wearing just a black cashmere sweater from not Lord and Taylor With my black gap leather skirt that I found at a uh, thrift store for like seven bucks <laughs> and my coach shoot uh, sneakers Still having my um, 
uh, what do you call this? <laughs> Louis Vuitton Speedy and my Galaxy bracelet, which is almost full. <laughs> and my Pandora Essence bracelet and my um, ring from the last line, which I cannot stop wearing. And uh, I really, something needs to be done with this Pandora business, okay? Just please, someone. I don't know what it is. I cannot get myself out of it. Oh, I think once I start a bracelet, I want to finish it and finish it. And the sales that I'm finding are just too fabulous to let go. Anyway, makeup is my Heat Palette blush. It's still on, actually. It was Exhibit A from NARS. And any of you who know Exhibit A, it is a bright red color. And it is fabulous, though. Don't uh, feel free to try it out. It really is fabulous on the skin. I can't say for anyone lighter than me because... <laughs> It is like bright red. Um, and just touch on the lips. So yeah, that is it. I will be talking to you guys next week. I am off Monday for Martin Luther King Day. Um, I was going to say something, but I won't. Um, anyway, yes, off on Monday. Um, and then I will see you guys on Tuesday. I hope you have a great weekend. We're supposed to be getting snow. I hope it's just a coating. Please.